So we're back on the grind that has proven to be surprisingly productive thus far. As we try to get a male diamond gunsbuck, we've had a number of level 5 show up. Of course, we had our first rare in the beige. I think it was a low scoring silver level 3 a couple of weeks back. And hopefully, as we continue to go along, we can keep on having that kind of thing go on. A couple of nice ones walking in here. And this is going to be the first more like highlight grind video. That doesn't mean every animal shot in this video is going to be a level 5 or a rare, but if we go to a zone and it's all level 3s or something like that, those sorts of things will be cut out, much like the previous Great One grinds. So, I want to get that other decent 4, but he was hiding. Where did he go? That is one of the problems of trying to grind at night. I seriously have no idea where he got to, unless we clipped him by accident. I don't think we did. I guess on the right side, obviously we'll be back plenty today, so eventually we'll get him. This is going to be the female. Got her single lung just barely there through shoulder blade, and basically the last couple of Gensbot grind videos have been more showing the process. Pretty much every lake we go to, where we set up in the tripod, how we're trying to go about it. This will be more of the results, hopefully of a couple hours of grinding, and we'll see where that can get us. Now that has little to do with actually getting a diamond male Gensbot. That's one of the better respawns we've had, and it's hiding way back in there. This particular lake kind of seems to have stopped spawning males. It's this one sort of on the east side of the map, and it was a fairly decent spot, though things have really, really consolidated. I want to check, because I've seen them over there too. It kind of seems to remain the case. No males in sight. Now, of course, probably because the wind's bad. Did she turn? Now nah, she's still there. As long as we can get this shot, that'll work. And I think we're going to let that one go. I was going to try to get one additional one, see if males come up, but we'll go with just one that we don't have to track for now. And to be clear, no chance of this being a level 4 diamond or anything like that. 309 is solid, though, and it's just good to see decent-sized female ones respawning as well. We're kind of... Typically, if there's only one male, for instance, in a herd, we'll shoot a female or two as well just to see what happens. Maybe we can get a super rare female diamond gun spike. We might as well try to get those two. So, stuff like that maybe helps us on that quest, and just like that, it's already after 6am. So, again, because they're getting to their zone so late, I'm pretty much starting these runs at 5, and we're pushing them a little bit past 6, just to try to get to all of our spots. I already went here, and didn't see anything. I wonder now, are there going to be Gemsbuck in their zones? There's some over there that are just leaving. So they must have just gotten there and then left. And I mean, there you go. Got a level 4 over there with a new zone at all that just was not here the first time I checked this area. Now the nice thing is, I've got a claiming tent like right there. A warning call over on that side, but that's just a female, so focus on the task at hand since it is the end of their time. Hoping he'll move his head. Guess that'll work, that'll insta-drop him in fact. And maybe, because that one's on its own. I bet even with some subpar shooting, because they kind of jump around when you hit them, we can get her down. Grab her, jump across, and I think it'll be time for run number two. I realized something. Jumping across is not going to work. I like how it almost looks like it's just walking across the bottom. Either way, this one, we got vital hits on both of our follow-ups. 258 would have been a silver. And now we get to stand here. Not that it really matters because we were going to change the time anyway, but it'll cost us a minute or so until he gets here. And through the magic of editing, we've got ourselves a 283 gold through the neck. <laughs> Definitely lucked out, but we'll take it. And I think we'll go and rest, which will be nice, because it will also take away the thunderstorm. Now, one order of business was to come back and get that decent four from our first spot. I think that's him. There's another one in there that's not too bad. I work if we get in the tripod and don't just run into it. And were there three total males, or is it just the two? I'm only seeing the two, and of course, yet again, the one we want to get is not... Okay, um, that's fine. No, there are <laughs> So now I know there are definitely three. Is that a beige, or is the sun in it? I can't tell. Oh. Alright, I got no clue what's going on. I don't know what we hit, what we didn't. There's a three coming out of there. Was that one of the ones we were trying to shoot? Who knows? We're out of bullets. And we may need to get one more shot in him, and that's not going to happen as he goes, do goes down over the hill. That can't have been, because there were two fours, and then whatever the one that was 
standing there on top of the others. He doesn't look rare at all from here. That was chaos, but those of you that have watched any of the Gensbot grinding streams, it tends to be. So I see two dead Gensbok in the brush at least. I don't know which one is which. This is, I think, the three. Yeah, we. that's kind of cool though. I know obviously he was standing like completely vertical, which I'm having a hard time getting him to do. So that's really what happened. But it kind of looks neat. Just the way that it shows in the harvest screen as if he was standing correctly. The bullet going straight down through the vertebrae, spinal cord, and somehow getting both lungs. 283 and not a beige, unfortunately, would have been a beige gold. Of course, if he was a rare. That guy's a 277 that we hard shot. And I got no clue. Did we even get the other one? Non-vitals will kill him. I really don't remember if we hit him twice. I guess not. This will be a bit of a track, and the only unfortunate thing there is, this time it is still Gensbok drink time, so this will indeed be a waste of time. Now, I may be wrong, but this would be the big one, right? Yeah, 296 ends up being a silver. I guess better now than on a potential diamond. Way too far back, and I guess that's just gonna happen. <laughs> When they're all kind of stacked in there like sardines. So it's 554. Uh, really, we gotta get here. Because this is one of our best spots. Let's see if it's maybe produced anything based on the respawns from last time. And this is indeed looking a decent bit better. There was a nice 4 over there. He's up to 309. Oh, dang. I thought that was a 5. Would it be a small 5? And yeah, you can see they're leaving. So, um, yeah, I don't know about this. We're gonna hit him and do the thing where he jumps sideways. Get the follow-up. Was that close enough that the big four heard it? I'm gonna go with no considering I can't figure out where he went. We may yet again be coming back later. I guess in the meantime, let's get that one. That should be a decent hit. Yeah, I don't think he's still in sight. We're not in the tripod like we should be, so maybe we'll pop this one? And then call that good. We do not want to overdo it here. As you can see, and as I said, one of our best spots. And I'm not so sure we got that first one. Yeah, I think we did. Now, this is a development. How in the world did we vital hit this one with the first shot? Oh, it, wow. Okay, it doesn't even show the bullet getting to the liver. But somehow we got pelvis, intestine, stomach, and just clipped the liver. And then obviously double lung, and it was a bit far back. So liver and stomach in there too? Surprised he went anywhere. Now let's go and see if we can figure out what we did over here. Well, this part isn't a challenge. This one's laying right in front of the tent. I think that was the one that was standing there drinking. He was a 295 actually. But that one that ran away that we didn't quite get a shot at. He had to be three teens, I would guess. Now I know I said if his zone had nothing but level threes, it wouldn't be in the video, however. Remember that big level 4 female we shot earlier? Now we do have a male showing up in this boss, so not only are we going to get him, we're going to maybe try to get the two beside him, just to leave a little more room for males to spawn. We'll see if that actually helps, but it seems to work at least for certain species. Oh, I'm not sure about that shot, so it might just be one beside him. I guess getting rid of one female helps. I thought we were out of ammo, I wasn't sure if we had one more shot or not. You know, oh, did we get it? Yeah, I thought it worked. I was going to say you need two shots if you're going to do that thing where you just clip them and then get them when they flinch, but I think we got three. So now we got to pick out the pieces. We got this one and that first shot was very much a non-lethal hit. Just clipped it. Then long liver stomach on the follow-up. The male ought to be somewhere here. That's his blood there. And then, I don't know if this is impact blood. That's medium bleed rate. So whatever we hit on the female at least was fairly solid. And then the first male of this zone in quite some time, just a 260 silver, but an encouraging sign. Like I said, some of these places are getting really consolidated. We're getting to the point that only a few zones have males showing up. It seems to be better, especially when usually we get two or three per zone max if we have more zones to work with and not like six, seven males at one spot. And then finally, the third one from here that I'm really interested to find out what happened. That's why it was medium bleed rate. We actually got the lumbar spinal cord, and it still ran that far. Vertebrae, intestine, that would have gone forever without the addition of all those other little hits, but that sure helped, and 
We'll see what spawns in his place, but hopefully that just leaves a little more room for males to spawn in. Still heavy on pressure there, so we'll worry about that later. We might have something in there. I just saw a huge set of horns. He's moving around. Okay, that's even a four. He's up to 330. Is that the one? Could it have moved from all the way over there? Because I can't find him now. It's the exact same estimate. I still don't think we deleted any zones, but I kind of wonder. Let's go ahead and try to get him. Is there any other males in here? Because the problem is, and there you go. What so often happens is, they're hidden in the brush, and we gotta wait for them to come out. Maybe that's a coincidence, and maybe there's still one up to 330 over at that other lake, but I just went there, and I didn't see him. So this one is 228 kilo, 316. So, like, the size makes sense, too? I don't know. We'll have to pay attention as we go along. This has been a spot, I think, of the three level fives that have shown up, two have been here. So, would I be surprised if another big one showed up? No. But the fact that it's the exact same SM as one that seemed to have disappeared is kind of interesting. Well, got the answer. That was not the same Gunsbuck. There were two different ones up to 330. And actually, I was off. The estimate wasn't identical. I think the one that we just killed was 290 minimum. This guy's 289 minimum. And there's a whole bunch more over there. That's insane though. Like two in a close enough area where it was maybe feasible that he could have moved. And by the way, I've been shooting some other stuff here too. So we'll grab that along the way. We're going to definitely try to make sure we get this guy this time. Ooh, there's even another diesel one there next to him. Now I can't tell. There's a decent chance we hit the brush when we go for this, but let's get him. We know we've gotten that one, and we hit the four. I'm gonna just hold off so we have additional rounds. We got him as well. I guess, can we pick another male out of there? Probably not. He's gonna go pretty far, but I say we just be happy with our two. So we finally do get to see what this guy is. 321 and almost 231 kilo. He's got to be really close to being a small level 5. I guess kind of better a 4 than a guaranteed troll. Because those, I think I said earlier, would be like the small 5 horns that always troll. Let's see if we can go ahead and get that guy. We're just far enough away that the additional hunting pressure caused by not being in the tripod should be fine. And then another one ran up here somewhere. Got a couple walking across over there. There's another 4. I mean, we will take out anything we can get. When hunting pressure has no bearing on what we do, the more we can get, the better. There's another. I think we got him. Don't have an extra round, so good thing we did. And I'm really going to try to remember to go and get that second four that we hit back at the lake, because I think there's two more dead up here. And now we got to figure out where he went. And unless we come across his tracks, might have to backtrack a bit, but once again, it's the end of Gemsbok Trink Time. If we're going to waste time, better now than when they're actually in their zones. So we've got one here, 270 scoring silver level four. Got another one down right up here. This guy is a 282 gold. I think only gold because we didn't have an extra shot when we tried to take the third one. And then back towards the lake here somewhere. We have quite the hunting pressure, but all our zones are intact. And luckily we don't have to go all the way back for the last one and the best one. 304 got him just barely in the left lung. So a couple of 300 plus out of there. Producing some big ones, just got to get north of, I think, 337.59 is the number. It may not seem super obvious, but this right here is a guaranteed female diamond Gensbuck. And some of you will recognize that right away, but you might be looking at it. The score estimate is 316 to 357, and we already said earlier, the diamond requirement is 337.59. So what makes that a guarantee? And it's actually the weight estimate. 205 to 240 estimate female Gensbuck always make diamonds. So we're going to try to make this shot, and I'll explain that as we go over there. So she lifts her head, about 190 out or so. That should work just fine, and we'll go and talk about that. So because Gemsbok don't have true racks, their score and weight are really closely correlated. Any female Gensbuck over 205 kilo, not only is that going to be a diamond, It'll be pretty big. I'm going to guess high 240s, low 250s. And keep in mind, 258 is the max score. So it's still not the Diamond Gensbuck we came here for. But we talked about earlier, we're shooting some female Gensbuck as we go along. That at least is producing, and maybe that chance at a super rare still stands. 
And let's actually see what we have for this one. 355.55, she is max weight. I actually was unaware you could get a max weight female Gems Buck that is a level 4. This should have been a level 5 female, I think. Or at least usually would be. Maybe it's the lower score, because 358 is the max. That's a monster, and we barely even got it. When I first saw her walk out, I thought it looked really big, then it was a 4, so I wasn't so sure that it was a diamond until I saw the weight. That's a really, really solid Gensbuck. Now what we need to happen is basically that, but for a male. If we could get a male Gensbuck, again, no true Rex, if we get one that weighs 240 kilo flat, guaranteed diamond. Now we can't see that from the estimate, but at least we can see we can spawn max weight ones as far as the females go. Gotta get that happening to the male, but that I think is going to be the last kill of this hunt, so let's take her back to the lodge. And I think we're once again going to replace maybe an older Diamond Gensbuck somewhere throughout the lodge. So even though this one is a max score female from back in March of 2020, I think we'll take that down and replace it with our grind one, just because obviously we had to work for that, and I'm very confident the one on the wall there would have been from a multiplayer server. So both of these now in this room, and I'm trying to get like the mirror pose... I cannot figure out which one it is. Maybe it's just that. Yeah, I guess it is. But both of these are now from our grind. We have the 355.5 max weight from today and the 341.8 that was not an initial spawn on Verhunka Savannah, but an initial for our grind. It was there when we got started. And there is still a max score female out in the other room. So I like a little bit of variety. I like adding newer trophies to the lodge like that, especially when we put in the time to get them. And like I said, we're getting stuff to show up. We've had three level five males. We've had a rare. We've had one max weight female Gensbuck, just gonna have the RNG lineup for a male. But I think on that note, that's gonna do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.